Here is how I bathe my dog in the bathtub. Coco is six months old and I have apple cider vinegar here and a grooming shower gel. First, I place a towel in the bathtub to protect her from slipping and injuring herself. And then I place her into the bathtub. This is very important to really help your dog stay stable in the bathtub because it's very slippery. And then the first thing I do when I start is to mix apple cider vinegar and water. So this is apple cider vinegar, as you can see, and I take a container where I put the water in. So I fill it with about 75% of water and then 25% of apple cider vinegar. This is very, very good to kind of after bathing my dog, I pour the water on her to kind of cleanse and remove dust or whatever thing is hidden within her coat. So this is what I use after I finish bathing her. So the first thing that I do is to kind of make sure that I have a balance of hot and cold water. Uh, the water should not be too hot or too cold, just warm water when you're bathing your your dog so this is the apple cider vinegar again so i'm going to put it to one side and i'll use it after I have bathed her so first thing i first do is kind of wet her body and soak her body with just ordinary water not too hot not too cold as i said warm water and then just make sure that all the parts of her body has enough water to kind of moist it up before then I start uh, adding uh, shampoo, uh, sorry, I start adding shower gel and the, the grooming gel that I use for my dog is flea and tick res um, prevention. So when you're getting a, a bath gel for your dog, make sure you look for the one that protects them against flea and tick. So as you can see now, I'm just putting the gel around her so i'm going to use my hand to kind of mash it all up and make sure that all her coat is soaked and please and please don't let water get into your dog's ears and avoid pouring water on their face i'm going to show you what to do at the end of the video so as you can see here i'm just making sure that all the soap and the grooming detergent goes into her every part of the body use your hand to kind of make sure you let the soap sink in because i've poured water on her before so her body is really wet so she's absorbing all the soap and i just grind and grind and make sure everything is everywhere on her body before i then start rinsing the the soap i leave it for a few minutes so i just don't rinse it immediately i make sure that the shampoo is within everywhere and then i start rinsing it's sometimes fun it's sometimes not fun for her so i just try as much as i can to rinse everything to make sure that all the soap it does not stay on her body and again if you're new to the channel do subscribe and click on the bell notification so you can get updated videos about Coco growing up. So I'm going to be publishing videos about dog training as well, as well as dog nutrition. So click the subscribe button and follow the channel. So now here is the apple cider vinegar water. So I'm just going to pour it over our body to kind of do the final part and then I'll make sure everything is all over a body as you can imagine I didn't wash her face so basically what I did here is just wash her body avoided her face as, as much as possible and then I basically used the apple cider vinegar and yeah to go through her body As you can see now, I'm cleaning her face. So basically, because I didn't put soap on her face, I'm using a wet wipe to kind of cleanse her face and making sure everything is clean. The wet wipe is really dirty after cleaning her face because she has wrinkles on her face and this wipe helps cleanse the part where you don't want soap to, to get to. The bottom line is I don't want soap 
get it into her ears because that would probably cause problems down the line so i try to avoid that if you're bathing your dog try as much as you can to avoid water getting into their ears and if water does get in use a dry uh, tissue paper to kind of clean the water out of of their face so then after i've done this then i'll then take a towel to wipe her clean and help her to get dry in some instances i use a, a a dryer but it's not really the best so i try to avoid using that because some of the research i've done online about grooming dogs didn't really recommend using a dryer again if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and clicking on the bell notification to get updated videos like this in future thank you for watching